I did grow up in Canada, I did grow up in Taiwan, so my Chinese is not very good. I do know a little bit, but I don't know a lot, which I should and I really want to learn, but sometimes it's hard. <laughs> so in Taiwan, I was born in a, I guess you could call it a town, it's a town called Douliu. My grandparents live in this kind of like small village called Dongke, and yes, yeah, it's a basically like a countryside village. and. Definitely not your like city life whatsoever. This is like kind of like the side of me that I don't really get to like show my friends or um, that maybe a lot of people don't know about in Canada. So my grandparents they live on this kind of like corner block, and there's this like 7-Eleven across the street, which is like iconic for me because every time I come here, like that 7-Eleven has been here since as long as I can remember coming to Dongpa. And yeah, I just like always go there and I get like some weird snacks or like, I don't know, some like random drink or something. My grandma is pretty strict. She has a hard time walking. Her walking isn't really good. She got like some surgery on her knees. And yeah, but my grandpa is really active. He is, I think he has a lot of friends here and he like goes around and just like talks to all of them. Say hi. Say hello. We're on a walk at the university. Somehow dragged them out to go on a walk. Hi. <laughs> wow. That was cute. But sometimes there's not a lot for me to do here because since like they're a little bit like overprotective, my grandparents they don't really like let me out very often. <laughs> um, I know it's kind of like sometimes you can kind of feel like a jail. But you know when I do. Like when I'm actually allowed to go out, it's really fun. So one of the places that I'm allowed to go to is the junior high school down the road. Morning, I'm going to the school to teach English. So yeah, we're gonna take a scooter there even though it's literally like a five minute walk. Hello. Um, I'm gonna go play badminton with these girls. Wait, where do we go? We're going downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Guys, I'm sweating like pig. I'm so hot right now. This gym has no air conditioning and it's like 35 degrees outside and I'm wearing long pants. So you can imagine I'm kind of dying in sweat. So I just finished gym class, which was a lot of fun and very sweaty very hot in there, but it was super fun to just play some badminton and just get some exercise because I've been to my grandparents' house for the last like three days, so I needed some exercise. And now I'm just taking a break and we're gonna have lunch. And then I think I'm going to another class, which I will film more of, so. Taiwan is pretty green. There's a lot of trees here and a lot of bugs as well. If you look over the ledge, this is basically the school. It's already on. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. They're really awesome. They are 
so nice. Like I can just show up at any time randomly and they'll let me like teach a class. And I was able to teach almost like seven or eight classes. And I'm not exactly an English teacher, but I'm an English tutor, if that counts for anything. <laughs> English class is like something that everyone has to learn. So I feel like what I can offer them is just like a simple conversation with someone that they wouldn't usually talk to, I guess. A lot of them, like they can kind of like understand English because they've been learning it for a little while. And then I know a little bit of Chinese. So our communication is not too bad. Like we can kind of understand each other. The other thing that I really like doing here is getting my hair washed. So there's like a hair salon just like next door. And in Canada, it's like pretty expensive. Like you want to get your hair washed and like cut, like you're looking like 40, 50, 60 dollars but it's way cheaper here, which is like really nice. And um, I really like the lady, like I guess I call her my aunt, my auntie, I guess. Basically everyone here is your aunt, okay? Anyone you see is your aunt <laughs> or your uncle, even if you're not related to them. That's basically my life as like a village girl, like city girl turned village girl. <laughs> It's a fun time. I enjoy coming. I like coming every couple of years. I get to see the grandparents and the rest of my family. This is Fuji. <laughs> Do you want to come in? This is Fuji. She helps out my grandma because my grandma has a hard time walking, so she helps out. Yeah, that is basically my life here. You can follow my Instagram at annie.underscore.grams. And yeah, I'll be posting photos there of like my trip here in Taiwan and just the things I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cha Jin, ni hao. Nai Nai, ni hao. Fuji, 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 Fuji,